Son and they've got so much shit going on the internet. Um, three or four days ago, they dropped paint on the van. <laughs> I I called you guys. You guys came out. It was what? 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 So I went in to get some clothes on. I went look. Okay, when I came back out, she said that there was a car here. Here's the license plate number. I don't know if that's the There was get. a car here? Yeah, it was, it was sitting here, running here, and then as soon as I came out, it took off. I didn't follow it, but I went down to the baseball park, because the drone can only be, you know, they can only be so far away. Yeah. So I went down there, I went to the park. Uh, and then I went to the other park, and then I went up and down the streets, mm -hmm. and I didn't see nobody. That don't mean that they, you know, stopped somewhere and went, went inside the car, you know, went inside the uh, I'm listening. A house. But, you know, this stuff can happen. Did this happen today? Yeah, this is, this is today. The yellow paint is today. It's, it's up on the main part of the roof, and it's on the porch today. So, the cap has a picture on it. Did you see that? No, I didn't see that. Here. I didn't see the picture. Hold on. Let me get it. It's probably a first sign. I didn't want to touch anything yet. That's her son. Okay. Does he have, he has problems with people? Yeah. He's supposed to be put, be, uh, staying off the internet. Ah, so is a mason jar. Okay. Does he have problems with a specific person? Yeah, well, his name's Marty, but he what he what he does is he pays people to do stuff for him. I don't know what his last name is. I'm sure she does, but um, he has people uh, do stuff for him. Um, I've got I've got messages from him, and it's, it's been crazy. Yeah, really, you know, they've been calling. That's chance, sir. That's your letter. I didn't want to touch anything until you know you guys can. Yeah. Okay, so let me grab your name and information. Uh, was Sally the one that called? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Roy Vaughn. Spell it. V Roy R O Y. Okay. V A U G H N. What's uh, date of birth? I don't know his birth. W-I-L-K-I-N-S. Yeah. I don't know his birthday or something. 
Is he here? Yeah. Okay. It's crazy because I mean they they do so much stuff to us. I mean they they tore the fence down. They send people here. Um, the week before last, we had 64 bags of concrete on the porch. Yeah, <laughs> 64 bags, and then they had a. Five, five bags of fertilizer, um, we had 20 of the square blocks, um, a bag of bird feed. Um, they were just dropping this stuff off? Yeah, the, um, they were doing it by um, oh, one of the delivery people, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, uh, Let me talk to Chance, because he's going to know what's going on with this. You know, them door people. Yeah. If you're doing it by them, it gets crazy. I mean, um, a thing I wrote this about this big, um, you know, them hugs for the kids. Yeah. Three cases of them. It's just been one thing after another. They're then, dropping off things for you to have? Yeah, well, but, you know, we don't. We didn't have anything to do with the concrete, you know what I mean? So we, we gave it away. And then, the, and then the next week, uh, one guy dropped 20 bags off here, and then the next guy I caught and told him, hey, we don't want that stuff, take it back with you. Okay, well, I was in there, and I, and I was taking a nap, and then another guy pulled in, and he threw three bags up on the steps, and I told him, I said, I don't want that stuff, well, I have to deliver it. I took the one bag, and I tossed it up on his trunk. I said, no, we ain't taking it. Well, he got mad and shoved it up on the on the uh, driveway. Yeah, they can't and, take it. And then he took it. He took the stuff back. I guess I don't know what he did with the rest. Mm -hmm. We had a person that uh, had two tons of uh, gravel that that they was gonna drop on our driveway. But That's the lady, expensive. The the lady that drove the truck, she knocked on the door because she didn't want the van to get blocked in. Well, my girlfriend told her, "Hey, you're not dropping that here." Oh, yes, I am. She said, oh, no, you're not. And she said, oh, yes, I am. She goes, well, I'm, my girlfriend said, well, I'm going to call the cops. Well, she went out and got the truck and took off. It was a dump truck. It's just been so much. That so much. Sense. I know if I hadn't, you know, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be spending it on somebody else, especially if they don't, you With know. All this money you're spending for, for what? Yeah, you know. Just again, I, I don't know, man, I would be honest with you. <laughs> One of them, them bags of concrete are, are three, 357 a bag, and they're 50 pound bags. That's a lot of money, 64 of them. Mm -hmm. Then with everything else. And then gravel and, yeah, something. You know. She yelled for him. I guess, you know, I'm, the other cop said, well, you either... This has been going on. Hey, bud. Hey, what's going on? So, what's, do you have any issues with other people? Yes, I do. For the last seven years, me and my family have been getting harassed online relentlessly. Online? We've gone through every legal route that we can, and nobody seems to be able to help us, no matter what we do. Okay. Like, these guys are out of state. Mm -hmm. um, just last night, they actually ended up breaking into... Uh, my girlfriend who actually is currently in Australia, she's over there visiting with family and stuff, because that's where she's from, that's where her family's at. Uh, they broke into her bank account. Uh, this dude named Music Biz Marty actually stole some info for, because she had bought me a, uh, like, you know those really expensive, like, $4,000 race rigs that you can get for sim racing and stuff like that? Okay. She bought one of those as, you know, a birthday present for me, because my birthday was on the 20th. And she bought that for me to kind of, you know, so I can do my content and stuff and make it even better. He got the info off of her account last night after breaking in. He stole that, money out of her bank account, all kinds of personal information. Who, who's he? Uh, his, his real name is Nicholas Beagler. He lives out of Illinois, but his... Um, Who lives here that would, I mean... And they have people all over the place to love. This is the cap. Yeah, they have all. Is that you? No, that yeah, that's me on there. But that's what they do. They love to do stuff like that. Okay. They have people that are like, they have all kinds of like friends and stuff around the U.S. And they happen to have some here that, that that are willing to do stuff like. 
And this isn't the first time they've done this either. They've done this like how many other times? Like once or twice? Yeah, once. he was talking to me about it. Sounds yeah. like you're being harassed. Yeah, and we need to stop. And we don't know what to do. Like Chance, what's your day? Uh, what's your social? Uh, I'll have to go grab that. Hang on. Okay. I'm looking butt. Get in here. I mean, they, they need to egg the house. That's what this is from. They, they tore down. We, we had a fence around back. You guys didn't catch anything on camera? Which I do need to get renewed, honestly. Okay. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't had that renewed in a while. Thank well, you, Sally. When was the last okay. time I had it renewed? I don't know. Um, she said thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, they've even sat stuff on the porch to where this right here has been bowing in. I told her about the, about the bag, the 64 bag. Uh, Chance, what's a farm for you? Uh, that'd be either him or mom. We don't know what to do about these guys. Like I said, we've gone down every legal route we can. We've gone to police, FBI, detectives. So, what is it? I mean, I, I guess I'm not understanding their issue with you. They love, they're trolls. They love to mess around and do stuff to people. And because they see me as an easy target and a way to make money, they will do whatever they can to mess with me. Who did you piss off? It says, Chance will diddle for free. Don't know. Any this doesn't make any sense to you. No ma'am. I honestly don't know who these people are that are doing this. I know the guy that's behind it is that music biz Marty guy. Cause I know that he talks about it in his Discord all the time. What what type of uh media? Uh social media. He does what um, type of social media? He does most of well, he was on YouTube until he got banned and now he's over on this site called Rumble, which is basically like an, a small offshoot of YouTube. It's like, like you know how like you have your main sites and then you have like the offshoot, the little smaller ones. Yeah. Is it, is it Biz? It's, uh, his real name is Nicholas Beekler. It's, uh, Nicholas C. Beekler. He's out of Illinois. How do you spell the last name? Uh, it's either a B-I-E or a B-E-I. How do you spell that? I'm not sure which way. I, it's either B-I-E or B-E-I-G-L-E-R. Okay. And like I said, we don't know, like, I know where the guy's at, he's out of Illinois, but like, he's always had this weird obsession with me. It actually started back in 2017 with my ex Candle, which thankfully I'm no longer with her, because I'm not going to lie, she was a total psycho, I'm not going to lie, she was, no. <laughs> but he somehow or other found me through her, and ever since then he's been just screwing with me. It started out with like little comments, and then once I started... I started ignoring him. He tried to make a pass at me on a live stream when I was with my current ex, uh, Heather. And ever since I... Could it be Heather? No, 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 no. Okay. Um, Heather's been gone for how long now? I don't know. It's been a while. But um, after she left and whatnot, like things kind of settled down and then things like really picked back up after a while. But it's like ever since he made that pass at me, and I turned him down. He's always had this weird obsession with me. Like, I don't get it. Hmm. Like, it's really weird. Like, I, and I know what he's doing isn't normal. Like, what these people are doing is definitely not normal. Like, you know, I can understand, you know, doing a little bit, like, dooping around your friends, trolling around. Like, you know, you go on your friends' comments, you troll a little bit, and you joke around. That's one thing. But to go out of your way and mess with people's real lives and, uh, do what these guys are doing. It's not normal. So you don't have anybody in the area that has a problem with you? Not that I'm aware of. Here in Akron. Not that I'm aware of. I honestly don't know hardly anybody in the area. The only person I know is my friend John, and I haven't talked to him in a while, and he was, like, right over here. Like, I haven't, I don't know anybody. I don't even really leave the house, so I don't really... You've never been in trouble, never got, uh, 
any enemies, anything like that here? Not that I'm aware of. Like, there was one dude, but that was like years and years and years ago, and he actually ended up moving out of the neighborhood. Yeah, as far as I know, he left state, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. But that was like before all this started. That was like back in what, 20. I don't know. I want to say 2011 is when that happened, I think. Well, I wasn't here in 2011. It was it was the thing with the stop sign post. When was that? Uh, I don't know. I wasn't here then. Yeah, I'll be honest. Is that that I've only been here eight years. <laughs> I mean, it gets crazy, man. They blow our phones up, they, they text us. Uh, she got her number changed, and within three days, they had the number back. It's not like it's been back in the old days when you could get uh, a bunch of number. You can't do that nowadays. And he's not online. He's not supposed to be online. Well, it's not that I'm not supposed to be online, I'm just not supposed to be responding to these people, which is like I said, that's why I've kind of stepped away from everything to try to avoid them. It's like all I'm really doing is I'm just hanging out on Facebook and minding my own business and doing my job with, you know, with my streams and stuff. But it's like these people keep on finding us, attacking us, like people keep on saying, you know, just walk and move along, walk and move along, but it doesn't do any good. Because they just find us and they no, keep going at us. Yeah, I mean, they, they send people here to clean out the basement, to clean out the garage, to pick up uh, to pick up a copper. I mean, just everything that you can think of. And, and, and all we do is turn them away. Because, you know, there's, we don't put ads on any in the ads. Yeah, we, don't market, we don't put stuff on the you know, marketplace. Uh, why, and, you know, why would we give copper to somebody when when we can take it ourselves and take it? Yeah. You know, right. it's it's crazy. Right, and it's it's. Have I, you have you actually physically gone to the police department, talked uh, to the uh, uh, computer forensics guys? We've actually tried speaking with police several times. Like our crime scene unit. Yeah, but they keep on saying like, "Oh, it's a civil thing. It's this. It's that." And it's like. How is that civil? Like, just when when did I get shot at? When was that? That's been, I don't know. That was like what about a year and a half ago? I don't know. Jesus. Well, a couple of years ago, I was upstairs basically doing a stream, speaking on how my ex candle was, and basically the messed up shit that she would do. Somebody ended up shooting at me through my bedroom window. The bullet went into my mattress. Thankfully, I got it all on camera. I got it all on stream because it was live. Uh, we showed our landlady the next day, called the police out here, and they took a look, sent the forensics team out. They didn't even take the bullet out. They just fought out with me and said they weren't going to do nothing. Like, they literally have been ignoring everything that we've been trying to do to get them to try to contact these people or find where they're at to tell them, hey, just leave these people alone. Yeah. And, like, we don't know. Like, I understand that they need addresses and stuff. I get that. But it's like, I have Marty's address. All I have to do is ask my friend, uh, CIA, who's a very good friend of mine. All I gotta do is ask him uh, for the, like the specifics of it, and he can send me that stuff, and I can give it to them really easily, and I've tried to give that to them many times, but it's like, it's almost like they don't want to do anything. And it's like, I'm over here trying to live my life, my, my own business, and like I was just talking to one of my really good friends this morning, Back in, like, if you go to my original, original Facebook, you can see a massive difference from, you know, before all this started, I was normal. I was actually going outside doing stuff. Like, even you see my original Facebook, I was outside doing stuff. And ever since all this stuff happened, my house has basically become like a prison. I don't go outside. I don't do anything. I'm not able to go anywhere. Like, and it's because of what these people do. They even bomb threatened us a few months ago to where we all had to pack up our 7 that van right there and take off for a few hours because we didn't know if it was real or not. And so, like, when they're out of state, I get that it's a little bit harder to do, but it's like somebody needs to do something about these people because I understand the way that I went about it might not have been the best way, but it's like when you're going through all this stuff and you don't have you know, anybody to turn to, it's like, what do they expect to happen, you know? When you're being attacked constantly, 
you know, you reach out through all the proper channels and nobody's doing anything. Like, we even had Adult Protective Services out here how many times? At least three? Yeah. At least three times Adult Protective Services has been out here. And I understand where they come from when they say that, you know, what I do does make me look crazy. I get that. But what they're not understanding is what these people are doing is what drives me to that point. Yeah. It's not that I want to be like that. It's that they're driving me to that point to lash out because, you know, these people over here are attacking me and doing all this messed up stuff. And then you got these people over here that we're trying to reach out to not really doing anything about these people. And it's like, it's like what do they expect to happen? Well, I understand the frustration. And there's a lot to this that would take more than just your average police officer yeah. to entail. Okay. With that being said, this is going to be a huge nuisance for you guys. But hopefully eventually it will end. When things like that occur, like the concrete or the gravel or the copper, or when you see like Facebook posts with like your house address on it, that type of thing, you need to be calling us so we can document it. Like with that gravel person, I know you said you are going to call the cops and then they took off. It would have been nice to catch her and see who sent that, right? So whoever's sending it, then we can actually start like a trail. And see, and that's the thing. Every time we call them, they don't get someone out here right away because it's hard to over, over the over the last um, last year, we actually found out that over 113 wellness checks have been called on us just as of last year alone. By the same ones that are doing all this. Okay. Now you can make, if you go look into it on your computer, mm -hmm. it'll it'll tell you stuff. Okay. All right. Well, what I can do today is I can take this and put this into evidence. Hopefully, we can get a fingerprint or some sort of yeah. DNA off of it. So yeah, for sure. That. Um, there'll be a report for criminal damaging or, or mischief. Yeah. Um. And like I said, they've done stuff like this. Just last year, what was it, about two weeks before Christmas, they had thrown a brick through the windshield of my mom's car back there. And we called police. Not this one. It was the, it was the Kia that's back there. They threw, a brick, they threw a brick right through there. And we didn't know about it until the next morning. He was the one that actually found it. Yeah, I went to, I come up, fired up the car, so I was going to go to work. And it's like, wow. You know, have you ever put your address online? No, they ended up finding it and blasting it all over the internet. They get public public knowledge. Depends. I mean, if you're registered as a voter, it's pretty easy to find somebody that way. Um, I can already. You can, you can go through like the department and find who owns houses, but if you have a landlord, it wouldn't be under you. Right. Yeah. So that, that's where it varies. Because they've done, like I said, they've done got our information. Every time they change their numbers, we don't know how they do it, but they end up finding their numbers and blasting it all over the internet. And they end up getting blown up with calls. And it's like, it's like I told them many a times, like, y'all just need to stop. Like, yeah, just you do, do, go, go bother somebody else. Like, stop with this garbage. And they've already said that they do not care. Okay. It's like they're never gonna stop. I got, I got um, text messages that they're never gonna stop. By an unknown number? Or? Yeah, well, they're yeah by an unknown number. And what they do is they take other people's phone numbers yeah. and call us. You know? Yeah, there's programs out there where you can. Yeah. Um, it's really hard to trace, but it's doable. Just takes some time. I mean, I got, you know, I probably, between my texts and the calls, I probably got a couple hundred of them. No. That's insane. And this has been going on since 2017. And it's like, like I said, we've gone through every legal route we can. Like, we've even had detectives and uh, FBI out here that have flat out said they know that I'm being targeted. It's like, if you know that I'm being targeted, then why is nobody doing anything? It doesn't add up to anything. It's like, if you guys know that I'm being targeted, then why are you guys not, you know, asking for whatever information that I can give you guys? Because since they came out here, I've gathered quite a bit of information. 
And it's like, I could easily give that to them and be like, here's one of the main guys right here. If you go through him, I'm sure you'll find the others. But it's like, they don't ever want... The problem is, is, so here, here, here's this. If you gave me the guy's info, let's say, and you have an address. Yeah. I can call Illinois PD, right? Yeah. And then go out to that address to talk to him. All they can do is ask about you. And yeah. if a criminal start, they're just going to say, no, I have no idea. And, and that's business. the thing. Like, he's... I wouldn't have enough to get a warrant for their computer or their phone. Yeah. Not, not, I, I need more. Yeah. And your case is very complex. Oh, yeah. Intertwined. Yeah. It's going to take a lot. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I understand where a lot of the stuff is and I went wrong. I, I completely understand that and I am aware of that. But it's like I said, you know, when nobody's doing anything and you're constantly reaching out for help mm -hmm. and nobody's doing anything, it's like, what do they expect to happen when you're not getting any kind of help? So who's they? Like, we've reached out to police. Uh, like I said, what did you do wrong? What are you saying you All kinds of stuff. Like, it's, it's, a, it's very, very complex, like you said. Like, the stuff that I've had to go about doing is... I get that it's not okay, but like I said, when you're playing what? out... What are you doing that's not okay? That's what I need to know. Responding, like responding to these guys, whenever they do death threats towards me and my family, I fire back at them because, you know, that's my family. Okay, you know? so so let me see if I get this straight. So they threaten you and your family and your lives. Yeah. So then you lash out and do you threaten their family and their lives? Out of out of just pure, out of anger and like out of anger scared and, and don't know what yeah, else to do. Yeah. Okay. And it's like I don't know what to do about these people. I understand that, and I understand the theory behind that. Did you call the cops when somebody threatened your family's life? Oh, multiple times. Okay, I, I just need to know so that I can look all this up. Yeah. All right. Uh, like. What these people are doing, I understand. Like, I, it's not normal. All right. Well, like, I think I have everything I need. Okay. Case. Um. And if there's anything that you guys need info-wise on these guys, let me know, and I'll send you guys whatever I can. Okay. All right. Because, like I said, and like I told him, my mom, and even my friends, you know, like what these people have made me do and turned me into, it's not normal. It's not how I want to be. It's not how I should be. As a matter of fact, on Monday, I'm actually going down to see a counselor so I can get that help, so I can start get started in that right direction, and hopefully try to put a stop to all of this. Because yeah. before all this happened, I was never lashing out. I was never angry. I was never, you know, ticked off. I was never saying and doing shit that isn't okay. Like, I actually had a normal life. And then all of a sudden, I get bombarded with these people that I don't even know. Like, it's yeah. it's not normal. Like, I've actually watched, you know, good friends of mine go through this stuff. I've watched people that I don't even know that have gotten attacked by these guys. And unfortunately, like, you don't really hear about it post-wise and stuff, but you hear about it by word of mouth. But unfortunately, some of these people that they have bullied in the past, even before me, have unfortunately taken their own lives. And it's like, when does it stop? Like, you don't feel like doing that. No, no, no. But, like, just seeing what these people have gone through and seeing what I've went through, what he's gone through, what my mom's went through, that's like... That's... It's, it's... Overwhelming. It's... That's crazy. I've I mean, never heard of something like this. I know. Like, I don't even... In years of I don't even... I don't even know how these guys found me, to be honest. I honestly have no idea how they found me, but it's like... It's like one day I'm sitting here minding my own business, doing my stuff, Next thing I know, I'm getting attacked left, right, and center, and it's like, what the heck? You guys haven't made any enemies with the neighbors? <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. There's a drone. I could see that. Well, the other night when I when I come out of the back of the house, that guy over there told me that he seen the drone. This lady here, she um, has a camera and she takes pictures and. I think she's somewhat involved, but I can't. Yeah, can't say for sure. Right. Um, that lady, nobody ever bothers. This lady here, 
This is the only one that we talk to. We don't talk to none of the rest. Right. None of them. Right. Mm -hmm. there's, uh, other, there's other crazy stuff going on, but when you get into the computer and you start working, you'll you'll see more more. Like last year, they ended up showing up here, and they had somebody come down here, and he kept on going on and off the sidewalk and stuff, like protesting and harassing me and him and my mom. And he was on our property when I came out here, and I told him, like, look, dude, like, you need to get off our property and leave. And unfortunately, he wouldn't do it. And because he had a lot of our neighbors coming over here and getting in our faces, we started to feel threatened. So I ran inside. I grabbed the bat, came out here and told him, like, look, dude, you need to get off our property. What you're doing isn't cool. And I gave him a warning. Like, I warned him, like, bro, you need to leave. He wouldn't do it. So I swung at him, not to hurt him, but to warn him, like, I'm going to hit you if you don't leave right now. He caught the bat, stepped off the property. I ended up getting arrested. And then I ended up going in and out of court for, like, three months. All for that dude to not show up. And then... Uh. Was that guy live around here? No, he was from out of state. He ended up. That's like I said. There's a lot more, but when you when you look it up, it'll. Okay, let me look it up. Let me let me grasp the nature on yeah. this. And there is another dude too. His name is William Gloryhole, which I know it's a weird name. William Gloryhole. He uh, likes to take the body cam footage that you guys do, mm -hmm. and he likes to post it on the internet. Great and videos. Yeah, he he loves to use it to to basically try to poke fun and do this and do that, which I did look into it. And obviously what he's doing isn't okay. I already know that. Mm -hmm. Because what he's doing is clearly very malicious, very evil. And these are the kind of guys that Marty works with. And William and Edward Boy, which is another friend of his, they're like him and William and Edward Boy are both tech savvy. They know how to hack. They're very they're very smart when it comes to computers. And that's one of the reasons why Marty's able to get away with so much. And what he does is because of them helping him out and being like, hey, like, why don't we plan on doing this? Like, the only reason why I know about what they're planning is because I have a couple of friends that sneak into their, um, into one of their private Discord servers and are like, hey, this is what they're planning on doing. You might want to be ready for this. Like, they're the, they're the reason why we found out about the bomb brand and why we packed up and left. Like, these people are evil. I don't know how many other people that they've done this to, but like I was, you know, telling my friends earlier this morning, like, this stuff needs to stop. Like, these people need to be gone after. I hear you. I hear like, you. I, I can't what? do anything unless I have, like, a actual criminal. Like, I know that, I, I know. I need evidence. I need yeah, solid I know. proof. I need something. Right. Like, I know that. Everything I'll, you've got for me right now is just. Like I know that um, like I know that with Marty, I know that he ended up getting the uh, federal uh, uh, police called on him once before by somebody else on YouTube that he was harassing, and they they literally made him leave her alone. Like they showed up at his house and told him to leave her alone. Which, as far as I know, he's left her alone. As far as I know, but like. This dude, he's just, honestly, he's not right in the head. I, just by looking at what I've seen of him, I can almost say that this guy is probably a sociopath. Just from what I've seen and studied how he acts, the dude thinks that, like, he's untouchable. A lot and, of people do until they mess up. Right. And it's like... And there's no going back. So we'll see what we can do. All right. Um, I can only... Tag this into evidence, do a report for you, and look into your case and see if I can go anywhere else with this. Yeah, because if there's but any... I'm not, a, I'm not FBI. Right, I'm not right, a detective. Right. I'm literally a foot soldier. I, right. I really don't have uh, the powers at B, but it doesn't mean what you have isn't right. enough, right? Right. So I have to, like, create a case yeah, type of thing, get all that. Yeah, you you know, talk like, to detectives, I can't imagine that you've told them anything different than what you've told me other than new stuff yeah. that's occurring, like all this stuff, right? Right. But, like, okay. Well, the guy that usually runs this area, he's a white guy, he's bald-headed. Now, he knows pretty much all. I mean, I, 
you know, he, he come up and talked to us, and he's been really, you know, he's been trying to help be helpful. The, the, the detectives have talked to him, and, you know, we, we were sitting out here talking to him, and it was fun, right? And he went down there, and, it, of course, he said, this is the detectives, and he went off and talked to him, and then he came back. So, I mean, there's... There's other things when you get into the computer and you look on the computer. There's other things that will, you know. There's other stuff that I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to look it up on the computer. Number one, you're a woman. I don't want to do anything. You know what I'm saying? So there's other stuff in there. You just got to look. And, uh, and like I told him, and I told my mom, and I told my friends, like, I just want this stuff to stop so I can go back to living a normal life. Because yeah. what these people are doing is not okay. Like, I have trouble sleeping at night because of what these people do. Flying the drones around, doing like what they did, um, constantly sneaking around the house, you know, doing what they did with the vent. With, uh, when, when did they drop the last mm -hmm. thing of paint on the van? What was that? Like three, days? Three, three or four days ago. Yeah. Three or four days ago, they dropped the thing of paint on the van, which he ended up. I got a little stuff, but that's, you know, yeah. I, I did call you guys, and it was at night, you know, and I, I tried to give the officers, because there was, there were little bottles, little glass bottles, I tried to give them to the officers, because they were laying in, laying in the, you know, driveway, uh, we don't, you know, they ain't going to do us no good, <laughs> and it's like, okay. Okay, well, I've got this, hopefully I can find some friends or something like that. Yeah. Absolutely. That's the only thing I was hoping on the other one, you know, and, and when they dropped the uh, red, the red paint on there, now the lid was laying out here, and I told the officer, I said, right there's the the red lid, you know what he did? He picked it up and handed it to me. So, I mean, you know, I'm, you know, what else can I do, you know? Like, like I told everybody, all I want to do is be able to you know, to live my life. Feel safe in your own home. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like, be able to live my life. And to be able, because before all, like, during, like, when this stuff wasn't so bad, I actually used to stream on Twitch. I was actually a paid streamer. I was making really good money. And they ended up falsely reporting me, saying I was doing stuff outside of Twitch that I clearly wasn't doing. And I ended up getting banned from there and stuff. And it's because they want to use me to make money. Mm -hmm. To them, I'm a money maker. I'm their way of making a living and here lately I've literally been cutting them off trying to avoid them trying to ignore them and as a result of me doing that they're starting to lash out at other people like you know like I said they broke into my girlfriend's Facebook account stole all kinds of information from her yeah uh, did the stuff with the paint and it's like and I've asked them many 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 times like just mm -hmm. if you guys got a problem with me take it up with me, leave my friends and my family out of it, but they don't do that. They attack my friends, they attack my family, and it's like, and I've at one point while told them, like, look, y'all need to leave me alone. Okay. I'm not out here trying to fight you guys, I'm not out here trying to act like Mr. Badass, like I told them, you know, like I told them, the reason why I treat them the way that I do is because of how they treat me. Right. Like, and it's okay. like, what they're doing is not cool, and I'm just hoping that with some sort of help, like, you know, we can get these guys to stop to where I can finally start living in peace again after, what, 2017? That's almost seven years. And it's like, it's insane. Like, the fact that I'm now having to go to counseling, just to keep a clear head is like, like, you have to be, you have to go through a lot to have to go to that length, which, like I said, here on Monday, I'm going to be making my appointment. I'm going to be going through counseling, and hopefully, you know, that'll help out a lot. But, like... I've sat there and I've watched so many threads on these people online. I've seen so much stuff and it's like... Have you... I know this sounds really strange, but have you thought about hiring like a, like a PI or something like that? We, we want to, but we don't have the money for it. Okay. Alright, well, let me tag this. Let me see what I can do. Right. And um, just um, keep is, calling us. Is there anywhere... Like, if I get any information for you guys, is there anywhere that I can, like, email it to you guys if I get anything? Uh, yeah, you could probably call the police department and let them know what's been going on. Uh, give them your house address, because everything's going to be linked to your house address. Yeah. Well, it, yeah. I don't mean to interrupt you, yeah. but it, it, it's been as bad as 
calling you guys, and you guys not showing up at all. Yeah, they're having. That's how bad it's been. So, but that's like I said, when you get into the computer and you look at it, you'll you'll see more stuff. Okay. I mean, that's you know. I know. We've had a few major things happen in the city where we haven't been able to make it to people. Um, but those were just maybe two or three days this entire year. I don't know. Well, I don't know if it was this year. It could have been last. Okay. Okay, but it, you know, it, it's pretty crazy when the cops won't even show up. Yeah. I now I don't. I, I don't know if they're intercepting the, the uh, calls from you. You know, okay. from one to one to another. Sure. That could be too. Yeah, I don't and, know about that. You know, that's what I'm saying. If you look at the computer, it'll it'll tell you more than than what we just told you. Okay. And like I said, like is there um, you know, like once I get all this information and stuff, is there anywhere like where I can like email you these guys is like their online channels and stuff like that. That way you guys can start looking into them. Is there anywhere where I can email that to you guys? What I want you to do is try to stay out of it. Yeah. Okay. If you have that information, keep it all in on documentation, like write it all out, type it all out, or something like yeah. that for us. So that way when an incident does happen, or it's, let's say we get fingerprints or something, we have that to go on. And yeah. We can get that from you at that time. Yeah, because I know the people that dropped out, they're obviously connected to yeah. these people, obviously. And it could just be, it could just be, uh, I don't know. It, it, this, honestly, this is the first case I've ever had like this. It's, the, this case is very it, it weird. It seems very crazy, at the same time, plausible. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, it's really... It's really one of those things where it was like seven years ago, ten years ago when I first started doing content creation and stuff. Like, I expected to have haters. That just comes with the territory. But I did not expect to have my whole life turned upside down like this. Yeah, nobody deserves to have that happen to them, regardless of what happens. Like, what these people are doing is gone overboard. It's too much. All right. Uh, thank you, man. Anything else, give us a call, okay? All right. I know you. you've been doing the best you can. Just yeah. keep doing that. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, have a good night. You too. Good day. Good day. Thank you.